Did you know that there is proofreading software that proofreaders use to help them edit your books? And no, I'm not talking about Grammarly or ProWritingAid. Keep watching to find out. What's up guys? Michael Laron here with Author Level Up helping you write world-class stories better and faster. And I make these videos because I believe that each of you has Stephen King level talent and you just need help unlocking it. And I hope I got your attention in the beginning of this video because we're gonna be talking about an app that I discovered recently called Perfect It that is absolutely fantastic for helping you catch a lot of proofreading errors that you would hire a proofreader for. Now, no app is a substitute for a proofreader, but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what this app can do. So let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you how it works. First, I'm gonna go to intelligentediting.com. That is the website for Perfect It. The website is relatively easy to use, very straightforward. You can download a free trial right here, or if you like what you see in this video so much, you can certainly buy it. But there's a lot of good documentation and good information on what Perfect It does and how it works. There's a one minute video here that I highly recommend that you check out as well. Perfect It is available for Windows and Mac as an add-in to your Microsoft Word application. So what we can do is download it and then I'll show you how to use it. Now, the installation instructions are relatively straightforward for Windows users. I'm gonna assume that you're not gonna have any problems getting it onto your device. It only takes about a minute or two. And then once you have installed Perfect It, you can find it right here in your ribbon. Now I'm on the Windows version of Microsoft Word. For my friends on the Mac, because I know that I'm gonna have Mac users watching that are gonna be asking, what about Mac? Well, you can use Perfect It as well. The version is a little bit different, but it works basically the same way. So first thing we need to do is go to Word here and select Preferences. And then under Ribbon and Toolbar, we are going to, on the right menu here, make sure that the Developer tab is checked. Check that box and then you should get a developer tab that appears right here. If I click this and then select add-ins, make sure you're signed in, and then we can type for perfect it, and then you will see the cloud edition right here. Simply add, follow the prompts to install. Everything you see from now on will be the Windows version, but just know that it's gonna look almost identical to what you're gonna see on the Mac. Now, when you click on it, you'll see some things here, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get into it. We're gonna launch Perfect It on a manuscript that I currently have. So I'm gonna select the Start button, and it's going to start running checks. And I'll show you where you can find the different checks it runs, but I wanna show you some examples of what it's gonna, what it's gonna look for. So first, it's checking for hyphenation of phrases. So a phrase appears with and without a hyphen. So I've got some inconsistency here. So the first example is barbed wire. So it shows me on the left what the issue is, and then it shows me on the right highlighted in the text where it appears. So I've got barbed wire used two different ways. So if I click this button here, I can see that I've used it one time one way and six times <laughs> another way. Uh, another quirk about Perfected is it's you have to look at this as opposites. All right, so I got the six examples here. So I can click here, I can kind of see on the right where I, I've kind of messed things up. And honestly, it looks like I probably need to fix all of these. So what I can do is I can fix each of these individually if I want. Or what I could do is I can just simply select fix all and it'll ask me if I'm sure and I'll say yes, I'm sure. And then I'll click next and then it takes me to the next example. So I've, I've got boarded up, all right? So I've got it one time this way and then I've got it another time this way. And uh, you know, I, I could probably fix both of those if I wanted to. Now I'll show you another example because I can show you how sometimes it doesn't always get it right. So I've got curled up here. All right, so it says their curled up husks were dark spots against blah, blah, blah. Now, if I select this one, well, it says my legs curled up underneath me, and then I've got two, I've got basically got curled used as a verb here, whereas up here it's an adjective. So this would be an example where this would not be right. You can just simply skip it. 
Now for the very astute among you who may understand Microsoft Word macros and who have used the Paul Beverly macros, you may notice, well, don't the, don't the macros that he offers for free do this too? And the answer to that is yes, they do, but it does require a lot of manual work. So those macros will look up the hyphenation issues, but then it's up to you to figure out where they're used inconsistently. So just know that that is a free alternative. The reason I like Perfected is because it does it in a, in a, in a pretty package for you. All right, we're gonna do some more checks here. You can see it working and it shows you what it's checking and it goes through the same order every time. So oh, I've got some spelling variations. So I, I have banisters one way and then banisters another way. Oh, looks like I made a mistake. I probably need to figure out what the best way to spell that is. So that's an error that took, you probably never catch that on your own. And it took this, what, 10 seconds? Pretty cool. So let's keep going. So it's checking accents, numbers and sentences. What's gonna be next? All right, so we got some common typos. That's not right, so we're just gonna ignore that. But it's kind of nice to know that it gives you a little bit of spell check. Okay, so the next thing that many of you probably won't find helpful, but this could be good for folks that write nonfiction or uh, more technical works, is it will look for abbreviations that have not been introduced throughout the manuscript. So <laughs> I have IOUs and I have LSD in here. I don't need to do anything with this, but if you're writing something like, like fantasy, for example, where maybe there are some uh, acronyms or sci-fi, that sort of thing, then um, th th this will be helpful. It will help check that for you as well. Okay, so the next one is capitalization of phrases. And this one it basically checks for phrases that are capitalized inconsistently. So this is a pretty, probably a common one for a lot of people. I've got God used once, capitalized, and then God used another time uh, in lowercase. That, that's pretty helpful. You just wanna make sure you're consistent in, in what you're doing there. And then this one here, I've got granny 39 times and then granny one time here. So um, yeah, so it looks like that's correct, but it's helpful to know that that's an extra layer of protection. Oh, look at that. I got a Lincoln town car. I found that three times and then Lincoln town car, I, I made a mistake there and my proofreader missed that. So <laughs> probably need to fix that. Okay, now this is the big one. This is the one that's uh, definitely Definitely worth paying money for. So Perfect It will also check for brackets and quotes left open. So if you start a line of dialogue but forget to close the quote, well, look at this. I've got a line of dialogue here. You've already desecrated the corpse, the man said. Oops, I forgot to close the quote. So I can close that quote and look at that. So those aren't all of the checks it'll make, depending on your manuscript and depending on your needs, there are more. But let's say I wanted to do just one particular check. I can go up here to checks and I can start it if I wanted to, or I can choose the checks that I want. So I can go in and I can select which ones I want. Um, I can also start it if I wanted to do that. And then I could also, while 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 it is running, I can also change the number of uh, change the checks that I want to do. So like, I can select select check, and then I can do this again. I can run each one individually if I want to do that. Now there are some other features for Perfected that I imagine that most of you watching are probably not going to have a need for. Again, this is this is software for proofreaders to use. So for example, if I go up here under my style. I can I can select this this you know the spelling and the, the the conventions that I want. So for my friends who are outside of the United States, this is particularly helpful. I think uh, that's what also I like about this is that it's an international app. Now, if you want to get an understanding of all the different checks that are available, go to help and then select understanding the checks. And then I'll link to this in the video description as well. But this gives you a description of all of the different checks that Perfect It will do. And I, I think that this is very helpful for those who are just like, ah, I don't know if this is worth it. You know, you can kind of see what it can do and why this is such a powerful tool for you. Now let's talk about pricing because I know some of you are probably thinking, show me the money, Michael. Everything you've seen here, I, I bought this on day one because I said to myself, this is exactly what I need. These are the kind of errors that they just exist in your manuscript and you may not even know that they're there. And so fixing them just makes your, your story stronger. So there is a free trial for Perfect It, and you can do 14 days. There's no credit card commitment or anything like that. And by the way, I'm not doing an affiliate for this. They don't even offer an affiliate program. I just like this so much that I want you guys to know about it. 
So you can try it for 14 days and uh, give it a shot. Or if you would like to purchase a single license, which is where 99% of you are gonna be for Mac or PC. It is $70 per year. A lot of people poo poo the subscription model. I think it's worth $70 a year personally. And the great thing too, is that it runs on all devices. So as you can see here, PCs with any version of Windows and Word and Macs and iPads with Microsoft 365, this will also run on Word Online. Now, another thing that might tip the scales for some of you is that you can get a 10% discount for each additional year of a license that you purchase. So for example, it's $70 a year, but if I wanna purchase a $2 license, you can see that the discount here goes down. So, and yes, while there is a cost to this software, just know that there are a lot of editors out there who use this and who find it very helpful. So you may just wanna ask your editor, hey, do you use Perfectit or some sort of proofreading software that's not Grammarly or ProWritingAid? <laughs> and if the answer that they give you is no, well, then you're gonna, you're gonna help yourself out and do, do yourself a lot of favors by purchasing this. What did you think? Do you think Perfectit would be useful in your editing workflow while you're self-editing your novel? I wanna know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I know some of you probably not gonna be happy with the subscription fee, but based on the type of errors it can catch, I, it's something that I'm, I've started to use every day now, and I really am enjoying it. So let me know what you think. Have a great day, and if you're interested in checking out Perfectit, you can find it at intelligentediting.com. It's not an affiliate link. Check it out. Be happy to your heart's content. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you in the next video.